This question says a book collector has 24,000 rupees to spend on two types of rare books, type X and type Y. So suppose the number of books of type X is A and number of books of type Y is B. A and B are number of books of these two types. The first one costs rupees 600 each. This one 600 rupees and this one is 900 rupees, right? Now, he later realizes that if all the money he spent on type X books had instead been used to buy type Y books, he could have bought eight fewer books. Okay. And if all the money he spent on type Y books had instead been used to buy type X books, so precisely all the money on type X, then he could have bought six more books. What is the maximum number of books he could have purchased? So let's assume for maximum number of books, Let's assume that he is spending the entire amount. That means 600 into A, the total price of type X books, plus 900 into B, the total price of type Y books. That should be equal to 24,000. Right? So 0, 0 cancel. Divide by 200. In fact, divide by 300. So this becomes 2A plus 3B is equal to divide by 300. So it is 80. Right? Now look at the second information. If he has, why second information? Because 24,000 is divisible by 600 but not by 900. So if I'm buying only type X books, if only type X books are bought, then the number of books that can be bought is 24,000 by 600 and that is equal to 40. If only X is bought. So 40 books. This is six more, six more, this is six more. That means the actual number of books that was bought, A plus B, that should be six less than 40, that is 34. This 40 should be six more than the total number of books actually bought. Okay. So A plus B 34, 2A plus 3B equal to 80 for maximum expenditure, for maximum number of books. Solve these two equations. So multiply this equation by two, you get 2A plus 2B equal to 68. Subtract. So when you subtract, you get B equal to 12. You get A equal to 22. Right? Now, does that match? Let's see. How do we check whether it matches or not? We need to check this condition. If he is buying only type Y books, if he is buying only type Y books, so we may not need this also, you know, because we could have checked from here itself. If he buys only type Y books, he would get number of books as 24,000 divided by 900. So 0, 0, 0, 0. And that gives us 240 by 9. That is 80 by 3. Look at it closely. It is 26, 2 by 3. Now 2 by 3 is meaningless. So the number of books that he is buying is 26. Is it 8 less than 34? Yes. So this information is correct. And the number of books that he is buying is 34. The validity of 34 is this one. We are getting definite number of books for each one of them. So in any case, the answer of that question is the maximum number of books that he can buy is 34. As simple as that. Right.